Hi, welcome to Brain Entry Recovery Vlog. I'm Jared Payne. This video, I want to talk some about something that happened recently, which was that my therapist finally gave me the approval to use my cane full time. I wanted to discuss that in a little more detail. That is something that I have been working on for years now. It happened in the most anticlimactic way possible. There was another patient and her therapist said to the patient, did you forget to bring your walker today? I looked at my therapist and said, what would you do if I forgot to bring my walker? And she told me that I could have used my cane to come to therapy for the last few months, and I didn't know that. So we had a bit of a miscommunication about that, how that would look. She did tell me to use my cane more in the community, but I thought that that would be for restaurants and things of that nature. I didn't think it was for therapy when I work hard and my legs get tired. I thought it would be a separate, her telling me separately to do that, but her assumption was that using it more in the community was for a therapy too. So I think that the miscommunication between the two of us was there. Long story short though, I can use the cane now all the time. I told you that I use that the majority of the time. I now have the ability to use that all the time, which has been really great for me. I have a park not too far from my house. I currently walk there and walk back, or I previously walked there and walked back. I started now that I'm getting more comfortable using a cane at longer distances, walking to the park. There's a big hill up to the park. So walk up the hill. I do a loop around the park which is quite hilly. I do a loop around and then go back down the hill and back to my house. And it takes me about 45 minutes, but I've done that a few times since I got the approval to use the cane full time. That is something that I think will really help me go long distances and be more comfortable walking with my legs getting tired. I've learned in working on the hill too that by keeping the cane closer to me, getting all the feet of the cane down, going slower than I previously walk, those things will help me keep my balance better and do better work with the cane on the hill. So Keeping that going is something that I think will help me immensely. That is all that I wanted to share for this video. Thanks for your time and I will see you next time.